Our dearest Lord preached a wondrous sermon from the wooden pulpit of his holy cross. A sermon made up of seven last words, seven memorable phrases. The sixth word from the Holy Cross was short, but most meaningful. In the death of the Son of God and the Son of Mary, the crucified one simply stated, consummatum est, it is finished. In him, Christ our Savior, all is consummated. All is finished. His Father's most holy will is fulfilled completely. From the time of the incarnation, from the time that the Word became flesh, the Son of God has been utterly fixed on doing the will of him who sent him. Now all is accomplished. Christ has observed in every way, in every single point, the law which his Father had laid upon him and which he had lovingly accepted. Every type, every foreshadowing, every prophecy is realized and accomplished in Christ. There is not a circumstance of his birth, his life, and of his death that does not fully conform to what had been written of him in the head of the book, of the book of eternal divine decrees. Nothing of the Father's will has been left undone. All that the Father told him to do, he did. All is also finished or consummated as regards the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The Jewish high priests and their minions can no longer conspire against him. They can no longer bring up trumped up charges and pay off false witnesses. The enemies of Christ can no longer show him outrage or torture him. Judas can no longer betray him with a kiss. It's finished. His disciples will no longer abandon him or deny him. Compromised and weak judges will no longer fold under pressure and declare him guilty while releasing Barabbas. The hour of the power of darkness is over. The passion is ended. The Son of God has consumed to the very dregs the chalice that had been prepared for him from the foundation of the world. For the Son of God, all is finished. All is consummated in regards to the work of redemption. The ransom of the captives is paid in full. Sin is destroyed. That holy anger, the divine wrath, has been appeased. The outraged divine justice has been infinitely satisfied. Grace has been acquired. The church will come forth from his sacred side as a new Eve. The holy priesthood has been established and all the sacraments instituted. But with all that being said, let us understand the full import, the full meaning of those words, consummatum est, it is finished. Granted that the work of salvation is accomplished in Christ the head, it must now be brought to completion in his mystical body, the Roman Catholic Church. Christ's work is accomplished. Now it's time for him to accomplish his saving and finishing work in us. We have his word to instruct us and his holy example to direct us. His holy grace is there to assist us. And if we employ rightly the means of sanctification which he has left us, we shall obtain eternal life. If we come to our own Good Friday and embrace the Father's will and our own death, we can say with St. Paul that we fill up those things that are lacking in the sufferings of Christ in our flesh for the sake of his body 
the church. It's not enough that Christ has suffered in his own sacred flesh. He must suffer in the members of his mystical body. Would that all of us gathered here for this liturgy today, this Good Friday Mass of the pre-sanctified, would that all of us could say that when we breathe our last, we have left nothing undone. That we have conformed ourselves entirely to the divine will. At the moment of death for men, everything shall be consummated. Everything is finished. Everything is finished for the unrepentant sinner. And for the just. But in quite a different manner. It is consummated. What a terrifying truth for the man who rebelled against grace during life and dies fixed in his sin. It's over. It's consummated. It's finished. Riches, sensual pleasures, human glory, all is done with. There is nothing left, nothing left rather, except for the sinner's crimes and the punishments which God will inflict upon him for all eternity. It's over. But for the just man, for the just man, that sixth word from the cross, all is finished, all is consummated, has a far different meaning. The just man, the man who ends the course of his life in a state of grace as a true believer, he who has fought the good fight, he who has finished the race, and he has kept the faith. He loved his holy mother, the church, and he served it. And so he dies in the heart, in the very bosom of the church. He has repented of his sins, and he has done penance. He has observed the law of God and has passed on the faith to others. He has suffered and carried the cross after the divine victim and has gone to his own Golgotha. And because the mysteries of Christ's life, death, and resurrection have been accomplished in him, consummated and finished in him, he can now receive that crown prepared for him from the foundation of the world. At our own deaths, may we preach our own sermon from the cross of our sickbed, uttering consummatum est, having left nothing undone in regards to the will of God. 